You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. Seventy years now I've been carving. I still do a little bit. Of that. Dave Robertson, she come in at BC, we come out, so I went, you know, a community and she come, we should be one accord. Anybody needs help, we were there. Anybody needs food, we were there for them. This man, especially my dad, he was a great hunter. Always had some meat and in our house. If we didn't have anything to eat, you'd go out and get something. Get ducks or deer or bear, bear meat. I went to school there for about five, six years. And girlfriend, I done, done a little bit of time going to school and day school, both places. <laughs> and I was growing up. What I remember is, that when we were kids, we used to have fun down the beach, playing fishermen's and everything you could think of. We never did care about TV or radio or anything. There was nothing there. I remember me and my dad, we used to sit down, sit under the house. Our house was about 10 feet off the ground because of flooding. Flood used to come up and around April or February when it started warming up. So we were, we were going visiting friends and we had to use a rowboat to go there. And all the good things we used to do. Kids nowadays have gone astray, but for me, I would tell you what I think, that you should listen to your mother and father as you grow up and your days will be longer. <laughs> I've listened to my parents when I was growing up, but sometimes we used to get all blind and we used to get spanking for that. Everything we used to do, we used to do it just imagining, imagining things what we were doing. The cowboys in the years. Oh, me, I was always a big Indian. <laughs> <laughs> when me and my dad used to sit under the house, we used to, we used to watch him carve. So one day he said, son, here's the knife. Carve now. Those days when I used to make uh, paddles, wall plaque, I was that good. But once it started selling, I knew there was money in there. So all these years I've been color carving something like <coughs> 10 years old. It's about 70 years now I've been carving. I still do a little bit. That's how I got by from everything that I needed. That was my money for the table and for the household. Okay, this is one of my carvings I've done for years. They used to sell easy. <coughs> it still does sell easy these days. When I first started, I think I was only getting about $10 for it. Now I could get about two, three hundred dollars for one. Thank you for listening to this tape. Hope you inspire somebody else to do the right thing for everybody. Your friends, your family. 
visit him as long as he could, even walking in and say hello, how are you doing? My dad used to teach me that. Go visit your friends, go visit your elders. Maybe they'll teach you a few things what they know. You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television, for you, by you. PHC asked me to put together these cooking clubs and the idea was to put people together uh, creating food. So everybody cooks together, then they eat together and then clean up together and it's a really, really cool program. Uh, PHC asked that there be women and then men and how that is working out is really interesting. Watching the two different groups, they function really differently and I'm really enjoying that. Um, one thing that was neat in the initial rollout uh, was the original re request was looking for people who live alone. Uh, and then it turned out when I started advertising this program that not everybody that lives alone is lonely. <laughs> That's one thing I discovered when I started asking people if they, they lived alone and are you, would you like to come to something? They were like, no, I'm alone on purpose. And so I ended up broadening a little bit to not just people who live alone, but people who feel a sense of loneliness and it's really neat to gather people together that just feel a, a need for community uh, and recognize that they belong in a cooking club, not necessarily because they're lonely or alone, but they just want community. And so that I discovered that through the initial idea of what the club would be, it changed a little bit and it's actually functioning really nicely because everybody is, is getting along and having a great time and creating community. Uh, what, what can I do? You can cut this up. So that's what I see. on the market came up last week for four something. Yeah, we looked at these washing They don't have the potential yeah. for double occupancy. Uh, We'll, we'll cook one. Oh, so we're, just, we're doing it twice. Yeah, we're doing it twice. Oh, okay. We're going to cook one round. Oh, okay. And then okay. when we're eating the other round, we'll go in. Oh, okay. But we prep. Right. That's um, <laughs> 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 the only thing I got. I paper and I got it and I found it in the closet finally. I love it. I love it. I'm an eggplant dater too. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that, but I can change the word home. Good. Yeah, well, maybe this recipe will be the one that changes everybody's minds. Yeah, happy cooking, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you do that in that big pot? Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Well, we don't have a giant measuring tape. About eggplant, so it's your duck and ball. Every little one here. Like that one. That one. What I like about all of us cooking together is that everybody just steps up and gets it done. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, look, there's a thing that needs to get done. I will do that. And it, we all get together and put the work in. And at the end of the day, we get something delicious out of it. New recipes. The best part about cooking together. Yeah, nobody talks. <laughs> The best part is you can screw up all together. Oh, uh, Ooh, beautiful. Oh, okay. 
Just as it was leaving, so I waited uh, 45 minutes, uh, and then that one left late. Oh, right. <laughs> so, let me just kind of get into it. Good I think old is the biggest no, gift we are ever given. Just, yeah. Getting old, being it's old, just a like being yeah. around long enough to be old. Oh, this is a three 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 three. Three. biggest yeah. gift that three life gives us. I like Jennifer where she's going with this. Uh, right now it's not very appealing. You gotta get this right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Same thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> doing yeah, trying not to have people over, but it's you know, when you have a more than half a dozen people sharing the kitchen and you're sharing stove elements and stuff and you're yeah. trying to figure it out. It's a, it's a fine mess of it. 